Welcome back to Let's Play of the 8th game in the Ghost Motel series. Ghost Motel 8, as is dubbed. Well, time to get back to busyness. Anyways, this is basically the you other know, one. Actually, yeah, I know that just takes one hit to kill the walker, the guys that walk in this one. Basically, yep, blue crystal, yay. Not know if there's thought forms, like, no, like, these, like, from Google Top 5, it says that these, these crystals are called thought forms. They grow, and that when humans think positive thoughts, it creates pink ones. Uh, wrong, ah, I keep on confusing the store button and the... What button? Attack button. Like, sword button and the shield button already. Holy shit. That was worse than just confusing the button. Z. Oh, there's one. I think there's a blue crystal down there, but I know there's one over here, I think. Nope. There's an extra life, so. Good thing we can't appear. Anyways, do blue and you know black thought forms are negative thoughts. You know they're from the physical world. So, um, what are blue? Oh, see, it just glitched right there. Yeah, those black thought forms hurt you. Remember? Demonstration. See? Sorry about that. Ah, just something. I like how he stops. I don't know why I like how he stops, but he does. This black, this. this I don't say black guy, but this, um. This hooded, um, Grim Reaper thing. Oh wow, that, that was cheap game. Just taking out a screen where there's an enemy right there. I guess I should have took a note, I guess I should have written that down somewhere from one of my previous visits to the screen. But was that my first visit to that screen? Come on. No excuse, game. Is Joseph wearing eyeliner in this one, by the way, I'm just looking at? Looks like he's wearing eyeliner. Ah, wow. Fail. Complete fail. I'm, I'm on my part, not your part. Well, you are all failures, but not nah, joke. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's. Oh, but there is a, a thought form there that's, uh. Um. There's a thought form there that, like. There's that thought form down there that, uh in that little chamber below me that, uh, has, uh, that's a real, that actually replenishes a lot of your health. Actually, not that low on health, so I'm not gonna go for that yet. But, I might, so. I wonder if it's a sexual thought. I'm joking, maybe. Okay. Another blue thought form, so they, like, half positive, half negative thoughts will actually go for the sixth level. Wow, what the hell happened? Glitch! Oh my god! And, Usually, I, I don't lose lives until the 4th level, or 5th level, I mean, I mean, both 4th and the 5th level, but... Wait, did that just disappear? Oh my god, I, I got that big platform, well, at least there's no one right there, but I don't need it. I don't need it. So I need one more. Actually, retardedly enough, it's the final, um, big blue thought, the blue crystal for the stage is in... The boss is a chamber. I just found the button. Okay, how did he still kill me? I I, I hit him. Uh. I'm gonna avoid that pink one since I don't. Yeah, well, I don't need that. But... Yeah, you know the blue. Uh, maybe the blue is like a neutral thought, but then again, there it is, see? And is that very hard to get? Is that like secret or something like the other ones? So, let me go up on here. This boss is actually the easiest in the game, despite looking those- Ah, I pressed the caps lock button. That'd be kind of- actually be kind of hilarious if the caps lock button did something in this game. 
Maybe it'd be like, give me an invincibility or something. That'd be an odd cheat. Wow, I actually got hit by this guy. I mean, it's so easy. Okay. Ow. No, don't want to go on the floor. You don't need to go on the floor at all during the fight, so I'd recommend not. Even though he's such an easy boss, it's not like... Oh, okay. I guess I just gonna... Again, it doesn't even, like, show him dying. It just immediately says, level complete. And then I just immediately start here. I gotta move the cursor to the side of my screen. So, it's kind of annoying how they, uh, start me off. And there's no pause button for this game, by the way. If there's a pause button, that'd be nice. It'd give me time to move my cursor away from the main screen of the game, so it wouldn't get in my way, but now it has, so... Oh, up on. Again with the one... me killing him in one hit, and yet... How are these guys just taking one hit to kill? And later in level, they take... Okay, he didn't, so... I wonder what happened. Uh, you'd think by now I'd get... Especially having just done a playthrough through this game and getting to this... And getting to the, uh... Secret fifth level, which isn't that hard, these... We could have done a bit of a more clever job placing those blue crystals. Also, and I'm just remembering this, why do the sound effects for getting the blue crystal and blocking an attack with your shield, why are they the exact same? Let's see what... Just got one more in the stage left. I think it's up here, if I remember correctly. Well, it's an extra life. I'm not... Maybe I'll go to the other side, the other screen first, then come back, and then get the life. Yep, there it is. Right there. Come on, I was behind the score. Here. Eh. Yeah. Not that I need extra- well, I actually do need these extra lives during the fourth level, since that- like, that just licks the shit switch, that fourth level. Here we are. Oh yeah, I remember this boss. It's a very tedious boss, actually. It's my least favorite in the game. Actually, the last boss certainly is No, there's no special last boss throughout this entire game, at all. Like, there's the fifth level boss, but he's just like regular fish, like... I would kind of spoil that before he's in, but... Basically, just do what I'm doing. Just watch for him flying around. Then stand about over here, he's gonna... You have to jump to avoid the first one, not the second one. Then just score a few hits on here, you can actually jump again another one. In. And just avoid him flying around, which is not that hard to do. It's not, like, a hard boss, it's a long boss. This game gets real easy until the next level, in which case that turns up the shit switch. I already said that. Sorrow. Oh, I still got hit by those. I was just being shit, so. Take full responsibility for that. And why does my shield do anything? I mean, I can see why it wouldn't do anything against him flying around, but it doesn't do anything against those. Needles that he shoots on now. I think I've tried. Again. Now get your shield up immediately at this level. Oh my god, I'm. Ah! I'm not even facing the correct direction? That just sucks. And do I seriously only have one life? One life? How did that happen? Yeah. At least, one thing I can't say about this game though is. One thing I do like is that it starts you right where you left off, like if you die, so... If you haven't noticed. Of course, the one time I did die in this game was due to a glitch, so... Well, at least I got that thought form. Okay, this is gonna play out not good ways to get thought form. Well, it's basically the opposite of the problem. That one was just too ambiguous, like you have to die to get it. I, mean, I guess I have experienced good games where getting a power-up does require you, like, a, a secret item does require you to die. Um.
Oh yeah, and they shoot the stuff out of their butts, so it's real mature. But then when I look at the animation, it's looks like it's shooting their pellets out of their backs, really. So why are they facing their asses towards you? Those demons up there. Of course, I guess they intend to just be pooping them out, so... Real mature, creators. Real mature. Oh, do we have zero lives right now? Is there some kind of glitch that's diminishing my lives? I don't get what's going on here. I did not die... Like, that many times. I'm sorry, I just didn't. Did not die that many times. I don't get what's going on. I just heard a. Could you hear that car honking? I hope you didn't. Because you're not supposed to hear stuff like that. I just heard a car honking outside. Alright. Ugh. I really hate the con I'm really starting to hate the controls of this game at this point. I hated it a while ago, but I mean, this isn't a bad game. It's I call it mediocre, I guess. Apparently, they're I was reading the comments here, the reviews. And they said that their friend uh, apparently did this code, so Oh, at least I got that. I want to get that blue crystal. Because there's actually two uh, blue crystals. There's actually an extra one over here. See right there? Of course, I see no need to get it, but this is how you beat the dragon. By the way, real creative name, right? Red Dragon. Get like a hit. Come back here. Come here. Avoid the fire. Well, that wasn't avoiding, but yeah. So maybe I was wrong. That, maybe that was the most tedious boss fight in the game. This is. Um, this could have been so cool, like a red dragon? That could have... I don't want to be racist and say, the red dragon's that cool, but... I'm not going to get that 21st crystal simply because I don't want to. I'm not going to get because I just don't feel like it, I mean. Boss fight. Can I score in two hits? I guess I could have, but oh wait, no, I got hit by the lava that comes up. Not the lava, it's probably just the campfire that comes up. Duh! I got hit twice. And they could have put variations of this boss fight to make it a little more interactive or fun, I guess, but it's the same thing. I can't really hear the music for this, but the music's eh. Just commenting on the music. Why do they put boss crystals in the, I mean, not the blue crystals in the uh, boss fights? I mean, it's obvious where they are, and it's not very hidden, it's not very hard to get, I mean... The only thing that makes this one exceptional is that you're going to inevitably get hurt getting that blue crystal, so... Oh, I died, but at least I still have, you know, zero extra lives. It's a bit misleading when they do that, though, like, how many lives you have, like, one? But, like, it's the amount of extra lives you really have. Like, it says I have zero lives right now, but I am alive, so... That should say extra lives. All right, I'm getting level five. All right. Here's a little cutscene for you. You just passed. I passed. Wow. So now do I get my certificate? Sure. Just go back to the exam room to pick up your certificate. Okay. Oh wait. Here. You'll need this. What's that? Your proof that you passed. Come back anytime if you need more practice. Thanks. Goodbye. What? Um, why does he need that? Like, just to prove he practiced? Something? Like... 
yeah. But that wasn't that hard, so. Anyways, have a nice day, and you'll see me again with 